Hi, this is Pradeepa, your career coach, and in today's video, we are going to talk about business requirements te checklist template. So, this is a document that is created during the requirement gathering process, and how to track all the techniques in one single sheet. So, the very first column is actions, then description, then requirements, priority, percentage of progress. Approval status, desired date. So first is project initiation phase. So in this phase, you have to write down vision statement, executive approval and funding. So vision statement means overall, what is the project goal and benefit? You have to write that. And then executive approval means who needs to provide the sign off, who is a business owner that needs to provide sign off. And the third one is whether funding is approved or not. These are the very important first three steps that you have to do during project initiation. So once you have all these three statements, then you need to start writing about what are the different techniques that you are going to use in this project. For example, as you see here, you need to write down all the different techniques. First is brainstorming, then data analysis, then document analysis, feedback, focus group, interface analysis, interviews, observation, prototypes, requirement workshops, reverse engineering and surveys. So you list down all the techniques that you're going to use for this project and then in the second column in the description you are going to write down how how are you going to gather requirements so if it's brainstorming means like what are the different ideas that you're going to or different topics that you're going to use for that brainstorming session if it's data analysis means you're going to take what are the different data types or different data elements that you're going to take and then do analysis and document means what are the different documents you have for example marketing materials and if you have existing brds or existing other government documents that you're going to analyze for this project so you need to write down all the requirements and how you're going to gather the requirements that will be the next step so once you write down all the techniques then you have to identify the important stakeholders like who are the end customers employees managers shareholders and who are the other important stakeholders in this project so you need to write their names their email id and their phone number so that if there is any important discussion that we have to schedule we can use that those email ids and schedule a call immediately instead of like constantly searching through the out uh, microsoft outlook you can just see this document take their email id and you can write an email so that will be very 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 helpful so the next step is you need to write down all the use cases so use case analysis in the sense like what are the very very high level requirements or high level use cases and how are we are going to do solutioning for that particular use case and what is the summary so why we are tracking this in the checklist is because there are few use cases on a very business level it is very important to track down for example like a very high level how that navigation has to happen from one page to another page when you're creating a, maybe a mobile application let's say for example you're creating a mobile application for a doctor to schedule appointments so when the user they log in right what is the navigation that needs to happen from the primary page to secondary page or if they want to schedule an appointment and if they have already scheduled an appointment, whether they have to get the any kind of notification in their phone or email ID or how it has to remind them. For example, tomorrow they have an appointment, whether there, there needs to be a reminder popping up in their phone or in their email ID. So those are the important use cases that we have to analyze and document it. You need not write down all the use cases, but on a very, very high level, you need to definitely document the use cases so the next one is you need to document what is the scope of this project and 
what is the product description and finally you have to write about references so what is the scope of any project if you take you have to write down what is the scope and what is the need scope in the sense like i've already told in many videos scope in the sense what our developers or our team can achieve that is scope that all that will come under in scope and out of scope is that we cannot deliver okay so you have to definitely write down in scope and out of scope for any ba it's very very important you write down in scope and out of scope in the very initial documents because tomorrow we don't want any business owners to come and say that uh, you missed my requirement so we have to list down all the in scope and what is actual need for this project why are we doing this project and what are the design goals and mock up how are we going to do the features and how we are going to do the uh, mock ups and how are we going to show demo and uh, well, how many team members are available and what are the resources that we have and what is the timeline these are very very important so it did not be in the same order as i have shown you here uh, so according to your project you can change it but uh, this will be like a, this is like a sample so you can use this and if you are creating any requirement uh, checklist template you can take this as an idea and you can uh, customize according to your project so but definitely you need to write down scope and then what is the product that you are creating what are the major design goals and what are the features that you are going to have in that uh, product and how many team members are available what are the resources that we are going to have for this like for example how many developers are there in this project how many testing people are there in this project how many bas are involved in this project how many scrum masters or if it's going to be a very massive project then you can have multiple teams third party vendors coordinating with this but in this project so all that you need to write down and finally you have to write down what is the timeline for this project so when are we going to start this and when are we going to end this so this template will be very very helpful for you because when you are coordinating with multiple teams and when you are having uh, different calls constantly and you want just one document one excel document in the call so that every team can understand what's going on this project and how much we have achieved what is the status whether all the requirements have been gathered or uh, whether it's in progress or out of or on hold or overdue or whether it needs review what is the status of each requirement okay so you can always track all the requirements what is how how much percentage or how much we have achieved in this project and how many remaining items we need to get completed and whether the approval like for example if you see here whether funding was approved whether it was submitted for approval whether brainstorming session was done whether document analysis was completed whether focus work focus group was completed all that you can track in just one document so that you need not be constantly like uh, seeing the emails or, or you are like you don't know like whether you completed document analysis you don't know whether you you completed workshops or you don't know whether you completed survey so this one document will be very 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 helpful for you also if your manager is asking you what is the status of this particular project whether you have completed it or can you give me one document so that i can share with my my boss then this checklist would uh, will be very helpful so that you can put all the details here and you can share it with your manager so i highly recommend you creating this checklist when you are starting your career as a entry level ba or even if you are a senior you cannot keep everything in your mind you need a one proper document where you can write down all the important things for this particular project and you can uh, track it and you can share it with your colleagues or developers or testers or even your managers or even with like some third party like Uh, teams if you are coordinating with multiple teams and you want to share your uh, project status and how much work you have completed and you want to like give one formal document then this document will be very very helpful so practice this document it's a very easy one you can uh, take any excel sheet and then 
start writing down or if you are a beginner you don't have any experience then uh, spend at least 30 minutes in creating this document so that you can practice it and in the interview if they ask you like have you created any kind of documents you can always say that i have created business requirement uh, checklist template or brd so it's an added benefit in the interview if they ask you uh, can you please explain about your experience in documentation then you can always explain this particular document so they will come to know that you are very organized and you are tracking the progress of every project and you know what uh, you have achieved in the project so far and what you are going to achieve in the next few months so this document will surely make you feel like you are more organized as a ba you know what to do and uh, how much you there is like left in the project i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching my videos